Vincent, it's Friday afternoon, so what better subject than pumps? Absolutely. Uh, a theme greatly loved of, of journalists and a few city traders, but they're not doing too well. No, uh, th there were two interesting reports that came out this week. One was um, from Ireland, where the pub sector is in a bit of trouble. I mean, it's, it's become a victim of the financial crisis, but it's also obviously becoming a victim of social change in Ireland as well, some of which, of course, is, is created by the financial crisis. Um, so there are fewer pubs, you know, there's more of them closing. Um, there people are drinking less in pubs, so their uh, turnover is falling. And they have accumulated debt of two billion euros. So, Gosh, you that's know, a lot of money. It is a lot of money, you know. I mean, uh, individually it might not be because there are seven and a half thousand pubs, but actually cum cum cumulatively it is. It's a bit like the sort of mortgage debt that's building up. It's another sort of problematic part mm -hmm. of the whole private debt problem in Ireland. And then in the UK, there was the Good Pub Guide where they were sort of anticipating and looking forward to 4,000 pubs closing because they said these pubs are living in the 1980s, food's terrible, you know, the whole thing is it deserves to go under. Um, so I think, you know, pubs are cultural places of great importance in Ireland and in Britain, and I think these two reports are very telling. Yes, absolutely. It all sounds a bit grim. Is there a way out of it? I mean, is the answer sort of fancy gastro pubs, or, or what, what can they do about this? Well, I think that it's, it's, it's one answer, clearly, for certain types of pubs, particularly in, in, in metropolitan areas. Um, I think that there are several factors at play here. One is um, social shifts, which I think may be um, actually more pronounced in this country than in, than in Ireland at the moment anyway. Here, there's been a big shift towards um, real ale, towards, you know, better food, towards gastro pubs, towards pubs as sort of destinations like restaurants, for example. And uh, in Ireland, it's a bit different. I think that, that there, the traditional pub still is the dominant feature. Um, and uh, they're used in Ireland for different things. There are places where people go to sort of celebrate things. Yes. And that's, I think, a different kind of situation. Um, and I think that, that the challenges are greater, it seems to me, for the Irish pub. Well, it all sounds a bit depressing. Perhaps we'd better head off and have a drink um, to help them, in the, help them out. Absolutely. I think it's, uh, let's all discuss it over a pint of Guinness. Definitely.